Welcome to the Build My Sports Biz Show, where we talk about how to create, build, and scale your own local sports training business. Let's go! It's time to get started with your host, Ben Neighbors. The show starts right now. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the podcast. And in today's episode, I'm going to give you a piece-by-piece plan to create your first digital program to sell. And just like the headline suggests, you can make money in your boxers or underwear, (laughs) whatever you wear. And um, I wanted to create a podcast because... Yes, there's a million different steps to take. There's so much information of you know, other people who do stuff online. And to be honest, there's a lot of there's a lot of people who talk about this that have never done it before. And um I wanted to give you a step by step plan to create your first program and start selling that within thirty days from now. And if this appeals to you and you want to take you know some deeper steps with me and you want to actually get my help um, I'm going to be helping one person in 2019 Um, this is only available for one coach and this is an in-person workshop and uh, if you go through this episode and you actually take my advice and it works, you're probably gonna wanna work with me later on, but I'm only gonna work with one coach. I only have the capacity and the time to work with one coach, Uh, and it doesn't matter what sport you're in, but I'm just gonna be working with one coach on this per year um, coming up, and uh, like I said, if you listen to the rest of this episode, if it makes sense, if you do it and it works, then I'm sure you'll be able to find out how to get in touch with me. Find me on Instagram, Ben Neighbors. Shoot me um, an email at buildmysportsbiz at gmail.com or go join our Inner Circle program. That's where you and I can talk um, every week. Whatever you got to do to get in touch with me, just do it, all right? And I'm going to try to be as simple as possible on this episode as well because There is a lot of information out there um, from people who have never done anything online. They tend to like to give information about how to do things. And I can tell you just from personal experience, um, I've had mentors who've helped me um, grow what I do online um, with, I have a brand called onlinesoccerskills.com and also what I do here at Build My Sports Biz. Basically, what we do, it's an online consulting company. And, um, you know, I want to share some, hopefully, this is valuable advice. And this is all step by step on how to create something and sell it within 30 days from now. All right. This is going to require a pen and piece of paper. Um, If you're just listening to this in the car, like you can listen to it, but go back and listen to this again when you are in front of a pen and piece of paper. Um, because I know that if you actually do this, it will work, right? Because I've done this. And not only have I done this, I've coached several people over the last couple of years to do the exact same thing I'm about to tell you, all right? So here's what we have to figure out first. No matter what sport you're in, if you go on YouTube and you type in whatever sport you're in, let's say it's, let's say it's soccer, right? I'm in the soccer industry. So if I'm a soccer coach. I can go to YouTube and I will find probably, if I do enough research, I'll probably find at least 50 people on the planet right now that are on YouTube that sell digital content. At least 50. I mean, that's just a rough estimate. Um, With basketball, it's probably a little bit more. Um, Football, baseball, I mean, everywhere you look, no matter what the sport is, there's already people who have done it. Um, or they're doing it. And so to me, that's a good sign. That means that there's opportunity for you to create your niche, whatever that is, and create something that adds value to kids 
and you can solve a problem that these kids are going through, right? And I really do believe, though, that you're going to have a lot more success when you've actually had success working with kids individually. So if I had to go piece by piece, this is how I did it, and this is how I would recommend <clears throat> you do it. And I'll take you back to 2014, and I will never forget the summer of 2014. I had, it was around 37 sessions a week, and I did that for 12 weeks in a row. And I remember the first, like, three weeks of that. Um, I guess back then I was, I don't know, 26, 27 years old. I could sustain that. I could sustain, you know, 37 sessions a week. Um, and I was fine. And then, like, after, like, the, I don't, I don't know, I would say after the first month of that, I was like, oh, my goodness gracious, I, I do not want to see a soccer ball right now. <laughs> um, that's how I felt because by the end of each day, I was just exhausted. And although like I love training kids and I know you love training kids, like you don't know how that feels until you actually do that day after day, multiple hours. And honestly, like back then it's because I didn't have my business properly set up, like for my local training business. And I wasn't charging as much as I should have been. I, w I didn't streamline anything. Um, I was disorganized after that summer though, like I completely transformed my in-person training business. And I also realized during that time though, like I'm not going to be able to sustain working that much. And that's when I ultimately, I went to hire some coaches. Um, I completely changed the way I ran my business and I, I made a bunch of adjustments after that summer. And so I'm glad I lived through that, but I, remembered something during that time um i had some people tell me they're like you're not been like you can train a lot of kids but are you going to be doing that in 10 years from now like are you going to train that volume of players by yourself 10 years from now and i would always just be like you know in the past i'd be like yeah like i, I don't want to do anything else i just want to do that and it's crazy how things worked out but that fall so this was, you know, right after the summer. This was right around um, September. I was on Facebook and um, I saw this ad and um, I was actually being retargeted, which if you don't know what that is, you can Google it. But I was being retargeted by um, this marketer who uh, my, my oldest brother sent me an email. I clicked on it. It was to this guy's product who basically sold a program, an online program on how to create and sell online programs. <laughs> Sounds funny saying that, but that's what this guy did. And um, so I was like, oh, I'm going to go look at that. Like, that looks cool. I never really thought about doing videos or anything like that at that point. But I thought it would be cool just to look at it. And then I was on Facebook and I saw I got the retargeted ad. I clicked on it again. And I remember that night... I could not sleep. I was just like, man, this would be so cool to create an online program to give to the local players that I train. So when they're not training with me, they can use that as a way to get better. So I can create a resource for them that they can use. So this way they're more accountable. They're getting better on their own. And that's all I was thinking about. I, I wasn't thinking about anything else other than just like giving it to the players that I personally train. And at the time, I had a big email list of players and families locally who knew about me, who have trained with me before, that were training with me during that time. And I did what most people don't do, <laughs> which is like I just went into it telling myself, all right, well, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to see what happens. And I told myself, like, there's there's really no downside to this. The downside, like, the worst thing that could happen is, like, I create it and no one buys it. And uh, and that would be fine. Like, I, I wasn't didn't put any pressure really on myself. So I purchased the program. It was a four-week course. Every single day, I, you know, I woke up. I went through maybe an hour or two hours of the course. And while I was going through it, I started to learn more about, you know, how to create my program, you know, how it should be set up, how I can market it, 
locally to just the kids that I train. Um, and I did this very piece by piece. So if, if you really want to create a digital program, this is what I recommend you do. All right. Step one is you need to get this validated. And the way you do that is you talk to your local customers. And this is exactly what I did. I talked to every single kid that I trained face to face. And I said, Hey, I'm going to be creating, um, these online videos. It's a course that I, that I want to create for you so you can go through this on your own. And I asked them straight up, like, would you go through this? Is this something that you would want? And I got enough kids to tell me yes. And then I just went straight to those kids' parents and I said, Hey, I'm going to be creating this. Like Johnny already told me he, he wants to go through this. Like I'm going to be selling this for probably like around 50 bucks. Like, would you buy that? Like, I know he wants to go through it. Would you buy it? So what I did there is like, I put a little pressure on the parents telling them like, Hey, I already told your son I was going to buy it. Like, I'm going to create this. He wants it. Um, do you want to buy it? And most parents were like, yeah, like we would do that. Um, and I hadn't even created a video yet. I haven't done anything. All I was doing is going through this course online. And after I got enough people to tell me, yes, I literally just followed that course that I was going through. And I went out with my brother. Um, <laughs> it's funny thinking about this now, but we went out to the fields and we created like one week's worth of content. And one of the things I learned in this course was that you don't have to create a full program. You could create one week of the content and like get people to buy the program and have the program set up to where the parents and kids can only access one week at a time. So if you get enough people to buy it, you just finish the course. If no one buys it, then you don't need to finish the course. <laughs> and that was my way of doing it, which was, you know what? Like, I'm going to create a week of the course. So it was like five or six videos. And the videos were, they were fine. Like, I mean, I wouldn't say they were that great. They were decent. Um, those were my first ever videos I ever did. So I would expect them not to be that great. But I did that and I created a video. It was actually my brother created the video. It was about three minutes long. It had really loud music. It had like some text flying in saying what the program, uh, what the program was. I didn't talk at all in the video. It just showed little clips of what was inside basically the first week of the program. And I put a add to cart button and that's all I had. I had a little one page site it had the video and then below it it had a like an add to cart and then like i had a system that would collect the payments online and i sent that out like i will never forget this i sent that out manually all right i didn't have like i had an email server at that point um but for some reason there was there was some big glitch and it wasn't allowing me to send all the emails to parents um, like in an automated way where I could just send one email and it gets sent to the whole list. Like the way that I have all my emails set up now, like that just wasn't working. So I had to manually send emails to parents, which actually, which actually worked better because I got to personalize those emails and include the kid's name. Um, and I sent that out. Um, I sent it out to over 200 parents. And... It was a $47 product. And uh, remember, I only had the first week of it done. And I already had enough people who told me yes. And I was thinking in my head, I was like, man, this would be awesome. If, if I can get 10 parents to buy, um, if I can just get 10, that would be incredible. That'd be like an extra, you know, 47 times 10. That's an extra $470. And um, really the first thing I did was like after I got the first week's videos done, I got the sales video done. I had the add to cart button. I personalized the emails. I sent out around 200. It was probably maybe a little bit more um, individual emails. I woke up really early to like send those out individually. And within 24 hours, I had 50 parents who paid $47. And I will never forget that day because it made me realize, you know what? Like I have something valuable to share with these kids. 
and it wasn't even about the money like that that's that was secondary it was the fact that these parents purchased this program that wasn't even done yet right it wasn't even 25 there was like five percent done but the idea made me believe oh wow like i can help kids when i'm personally not with them which is so different than only generating revenue when you are with the players that you train it's a completely different thing and um i'll never forget that night i never didn't sleep i just kept clicking the refresh button um until like four in the morning or something and then the next day i was like very sick <laughs> felt terrible because i didn't sleep at all and um and then the next couple of days after that i went with my brother to go finish the program because like people bought it and i was like all right i need to go do this now <laughs> and uh so that's what we did though like piece by piece i did not just create something and then like randomly get people to buy it i went to customers people who have already trained with me and i gave it to them first right and if you do if you have a customer base already then this opportunity will definitely work for you right but now what i want to do is go piece by piece on actually how to set this up all right so if you take my advice here that like you didn't once hear me say oh well i did this just to make a lot of money that that was not the goal yes that i mean 47 dollars times 50 like that was an awesome day for me like i will never forget that and it was so fun so cool seeing that but the bigger picture for me was all right well you know i need to create this program it needs to be valuable for these kids and they need to get results right and once i finished that program everyone went through it week by week um and then after that, I started to learn, you know, how to create a YouTube channel so I could help more kids. And since then, I mean, we have, I literally haven't even shot a video on that channel um, in almost a year now. Um, but that channel has like 5.5 million views. I've helped ton, like tons of kids worldwide. But it didn't start there. It started by helping the kids locally, right? And there's three things you need to do, though, all right? And I'm going to go piece by piece. So step one is you need to validate whatever it is you want to give to your clients. So whatever that is, and it doesn't have to be a skills program. It could be a mindset or confidence or goal-setting program. Many coaches that I'm helping right now like, that are in our consulting program, I'm helping them create their own online programs that they can sell locally uh, first and then from there they're going to build out podcasts they're going to build out youtube channels so this is something i'm actively doing with clients um, personally i help coaches with stuff like that every day but the first thing you have to do is validate it and if you're not willing to go talk to parents talk to kids about what they want then you shouldn't go create it because you'll be wasting time all right so that's the first thing is make sure they want to consume what you want to create <laughs> otherwise again it's going to be a waste of time second thing you need to do is you need to have software that can actually deliver the content and i've talked to coaches about this before and there's two ways of doing it you can do it where it's very professional um and it's easy and it's seamless like if you were in our inner circle mastermind program you would see how professional my membership area is. Like I use a service called Kajabi. And if you wanted to actually like, take this serious and build out an online program, um, reach out to me. I have like a, I think it's like a 28 day trial now, free trial. Um, and I can send that to you. And um, that way too, like you wouldn't even have to pay for it um, when you first start creating your product. Um, and that's where you can keep your videos or your PDFs or your audios, wh whatever it is you're selling. And um, that's how parents and players can access your content. But you need to have a membership area. And there's two ways to do it. It can be very professional like that, or you can do it very unprofessional. And honestly, the first way I did it was very unprofessional. And um, I was using a different service at the time, but the membership area was garbage. Um, 
I'll, I just had to make sure the videos were in order and they were organized. And if you have any sort of website service that you use, if you just create a password protected page, then you can just put the videos in order there. And that's really all you need to do. If you want to do it unprofessional, do it that way. If you want to do it professional and where it's like set up for long-term success, then I would get Kajabi. And again, if you need to hook up with that, reach out to me. I can show you um, how to get a free trial. And then lastly though, okay, you need to be really good at sending emails. So you can't just, and this is the misconception out there. Some coaches think, well, all right, well, I've never written an email before, so I'm going to go start to sell online content. Before you even like think about creating something or asking parents about it, you need to have a regular routine of emails going out to parents. And I'm talking about email newsletters. And if you're not doing that, then parents who get that introductory email about this program, they're going to be like, oh, you've never even sent us an email before. So it's going to be better for you and you'll have way better results if you have emails going out on a regular basis. And that's why I had such a good result because I was hyping parents up about this for at least a month before like I had done anything. So parents were excited about it, but they were on my newsletter consuming content way before that for three or four years before that. And if you're not doing that, then I can guarantee you're probably going to fail. You, no matter how good the program is or how many people you talk to about it, you need to have that set up. <laughs> like, And sending emails is a great way not only to market yourself, but it allows you to get better at writing. And the better copywriter you are, the more money you're going to make. And that's just flat out. Um, that's a skill I've learned over the last 10 years. And I started off from ground zero. I was terrible at that. But those are the things you need right? You have to have those things in order to pull this off. And I feel like if you do that, if you have a newsletter already in place, you have an advantage, right? But you need to have that. You need to physically go talk to parents, go talk to the kids that you train. Um, and then from there, like as long as you have a week's worth of the videos done, you can just create a sales page, have a buy now button. Like if you're not using an online payment system, yet message me i can show you how to do that if you want to get kajabi just that'll work that'll that'll work seamlessly for you to create you know a page where parents can pay online and um, they can access the content online but again those are the things that you need now it's really up to you and um, like i said i'm going to be helping one coach and this is a workshop i'm going to be doing in texas um, it's going to be at my office if you want to like truly dig in and learn how to do this, I want to help you out. But I'm only going to be helping those who implement what I just taught you today. That That's the only way I'm going to do it. Um, so go check that out. Like, Go take action on what we talked about today. And I know you'll thank me later. If you already have a list of players that you're training and you you can't take on any more players, this idea will work for you. Um, and you should do it because you can build more um, income passively and you can help kids when they're not with you, which ultimately keeps players in your program longer because now you have this added value that no other trainers will have. And I can tell you right now because I get asked every day, like coaches ask me, well, how can I add more value? Having an online program, whether like parents pay for it or if it's free, it doesn't matter. Having that set up will streamline you. Um, and that will allow kids to get way better results in your program. All right. So I hope this podcast helps you, uh, helped you out. Um, if this episode did help you out, all right, and you go do this. And like I said, when it works for you and you want to take the next steps, reach out to me. I'll be ready. Um, like I said, I'm only going to help one coach in 2019. Um, those who are in our consulting program, I help them with that sort of stuff, but like on a very, very deep step-by-step -step level where we can hang out for an entire day, that's open for one coach out there. And if that's you, take action on what we talked about today. And uh, I can't wait to meet you. Hey coach, thanks for listening to our show today. If you enjoyed the content, I'd really appreciate it if you would leave us a five-star review here on iTunes. If you want to attract more committed clients, 
generate more income and create more freedom in your life, you'll want to check out our Inner Circle Mastermind. This exclusive group is reserved for coaches who want to build and scale a dominant sports training business. To learn more about the Inner Circle program, simply head over to our website at www.buildmysportsbiz.com. Thanks again for listening. I'll catch you later.